and it is but two short pieces of paper. Dear friends, tonight it is my proudest boast to offer up an honest toast <laughs> to lassies past, present, future. Big ones, small ones, whatever suits you. <laughs> From youngest girl to oldest dame, on men's hearts, all have a claim. But first, our hostess over there, who organised this hearty fair of haggis, tatties, neeps, all yellow, or washed down with whiskey mellow. <laughs> Thanks very much. We're glad we came. I'm sure Rabbi Burns would feel the same. For he was the bard to the common man, though not easily read by an Englishman. <laughs> Rabbi was not shy to the charms of the lassies. He had more lovers than I've had haggises. <laughs> <laughs> and by these women he had at least thirteen wains. I have just one, so know the pains of trying to get what's done in life without the assistance of at least one wife. <laughs> Once he's become a man and said goodbye to his mother, no man is whole until he has found himself a lover. With luck, she'll be faithful, loving, and gay. Oh, you can't say that now. That's <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Maybe I should have said hard working and happy, the skills you need to change a nappy. <laughs> yes, a man needs a woman. It's been the same for every age. Someone to calm him when he flies off in a rage. To ease his passion when madness enters his head. To raise him up when he lies limp in bed. <laughs> yes, a man needs a woman to help realise his dreams. <laughs> She'll weave in her own, for the better it seems. For a woman has wishes and hopes of her own. And by sharing these plans, the future is so. Yes, a man needs a woman, like a shoe needs a sock. <laughs> Who else but a woman would, man's, would massage a man's ego? <laughs> <laughs> On this risque note, I maybe should end. To push my point any harder would surely offend. <laughs> a last word <laughs> from the virile bard then, before I must go, from his poem, Green Grow the Rushy Zone. Green grow the rushes, O. Oh. The sweetest hours that e'er I spend are spent amongst the lasses, O. Oh. So, gentlemen, please, if you'll raise your glasses, I propose a toast to these bonny lasses. To the bonny lasses. <laughs>